Hey guys, Andrew from PracticalMaker.com here. Today we're going to be hooking a temperature sensor up to the Arduarium shield and then using a macro um, set to turn on pin 1, or sorry, I guess that's pin 0, pin 0 when the temperature drops below 80.5 degrees and turn the thermometer or the heater off when it goes above 80.75 degrees. So we've got the Arduarium, an Arduino board, a port expander shield, and this is an old revision of the Arduarium Ultimate. Uh, you know, you can use a current revision, same stuff, it's just the I2C connector. Um, so here's where we've got that. We've got a USB uh, waterproof DS18B20. There's a tutorial on the website on how to build your own. Um, I actually haven't tested this yet, so this will be interesting. Uh, some single core wire we're going to use to control the relay. This is a solid state 10 amp relay. Um, it's non-zero crossing, so you can only use it for resistive loads like a heater. Uh, motors and stuff aren't going to work. You need zero crossing AC relay, which are significantly more expensive, or a mechanical one. We also have a plug. So I actually might hook in, you know, more than one uh, heater. Since this only takes three amps, um, you know, I can hook up all the way to ten amps. So this has multiple um, hookups, two bare wires. We've also got. So I live in North America, so I'm on 110 volts. If you're on, you know, Australia, you use 220 or 240. Uh, you know, it's a little different. This is a polarized plug, um, kind of important, I guess. Then two bare wires. We've got uh, these two jumper wires, which have just been cut, that we're going to use to hook on to the uh, uh, port expander shield. The heater, which we're going to turn on in a bit, and a little box. Um, this little, I don't remember what this is called, basically tells me which is the hot wire, which isn't, which is the neutral. Two morettes, I don't know if we need less or more, I think we only need one. Screwdriver and some black tape. So we'll start out by figuring out which is the hot wire. I'm actually going to plug this in. and not touch anything. Be careful. Alright, so th this one is the hot wire. We'll carefully unplug that. So we know that this one is our hot wire. That needs to go on one side of the relay. So we'll turn this so you can see it. Um, these two uh, where the switch is. Now if you've got a relay with three posts, one will be normally open, one will be normally closed, so you'd see like a little dot and uh, a line that is connecting two of the posts and then there will be one that goes up at an angle and that's your normally open, so that's the two you want to connect. So first off, we will Put that that way. And we screw that in. And then we have our outlet. And one half, so one side of the outlet goes to the other side of the relay. So basically, what we're doing is we're opening the hot side of the uh, AC loop. Alright, now these two, they get connected together. So you're basically, um, the common line goes to your, uh, goes to the plug and it's always connected. And what we do with the relay is just interrupt the hot side. So when this gets 5 volts applied to it, it will turn on, which will complete the circuit. So we're going to do that. Put some one moret on. 
Now, be really careful with, with AC stuff. I mean, it's really dangerous. You can really hurt yourself. Not as dangerous, I suppose, as high amp DC, but still dangerous. So I'm actually going to tape this up so it's nice and sealed because I like to you know, just be doubly safe and we're dealing with wet uh, so that's even more of a danger. Alright, so the AC side of things is hooked up. Now remember our two pieces of single strand wire, they get connected to the DC side of the relay. So you can see here, this is negative, this one's positive. So I'll we'll just hook those up. Yours might have a washer, so try try and get it under the washer. So there's our negative side hooked up. And stuff likes being difficult when I'm actually making a video. Okay. There's our positive side hooked up. Now this actually came with a little plastic shield on it so you can't touch these. So just put that on. If you've got it. I mean if you don't then don't worry about it. That's good. Okay, so we will hook the red, or the positive, um, hook up up to the um, red wire so we know which is which. You could moret these or solder them. Um, I don't actually have a small enough moret to do this, so we're just going to black tape it. It's only 5 volts, so... Okay. That's nice and sealed. Do the same thing for the positive side. that up good. And now, this whole thing is going to go in a, just a little project box. I actually have quite a few of these. So I'm just going to cut a little hole in it so we can pass wires through. That should work. And first test, plug it in before you put it in the box. Make sure nothing blows up. Looks like we're good. So we're just going to stuff all this into the box. Like so. Put the lid back on. Put the screws in. Now this won't make it waterproof. Well, I guess we could call it water resistant.
but it, in the end it's just basically like those, uh, it's a bigger power switch tail, if you've seen those. I have the wrong size screwdriver. It's making things a bit trickier. But we're almost all sealed up. Alright, it's all sealed up. I'm actually going to, uh, because this is kind of dorky looking, I'm going to tape that again so it looks like it's, you know, straight. just purely for aesthetics. Okay. Now, it's time to hook everything up. So we'll have the Ardwarian board over here. I guess maybe like that. Plug it in. We'll plug in our control into pin one so ground is on top and VCC is on the bottom. We're also going to need our temperature sensor hooked up which we'll plug in and here's our heater. I guess we could put that on. Actually no. We move these apart a little bit. Slide that under there. And so, we'll plug our heater in. So you can see I'm just plugging it into the uh, outlet. Plug the relay in. Still hope nothing blows up. And you can see here that little red light, or orange light I guess it is, in the heater means that it's on and if I touch this it should go off soon there we go so it just turned off um, so we just hit our 80.75 degrees and the heater I was a little bit worried there for a second I thought I screwed something up but uh, so that's off now um, you're actually not supposed to run these out of water, so that's pretty much all we're going to do for the demo. But that's basically how you hook up a any relay to uh, your Arduino. It's really simple. You can see we did it in you know 15 minutes or so. And um, on the page, I'll have the macro commands that I use to set up the macro. And I think that's pretty much it. Of course, questions and comments are always welcome.